corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. Intel has told us there are at least seven. Okay, I already see one. Give them. Okay. They're the same picture. Hello and welcome to the end of the series thus far. I hope you all enjoyed this series as much as I have. I've absolutely loved it. And we're going to end it with a killer I absolutely adore playing as, Sadako. Uh, also known as the Onryo. So the way that they work is you manifest, you demanifest, you punch him in the face with your palm. Average cool shit. Oh, damn. Um, and her perks are a scourge hook perk that whenever someone uh, a uh, gets unhooked from said scourge hook. Let's try to scare the shit out of them. Yeah, I was gonna say. Like, I can hear you. Now, one thing you want to make sure of here is that you're facing this way around. Because if they do vault that, uh, you want to be as like immediately ready to go and down them. You don't want to give them a chance to just uh, fuck around. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So the way the Sadako uh, works, from what uh, I've been told, is that she's more of a hit and run type killer. Um, which is great, except for the current meta, but that's getting changed. If you've seen my video from a few days ago, um, hopefully this is still on the day of recording where that came out. So I don't know if, uh, if it has continued to stay that way or not. So I don't know, like, you know, if yes, that is exactly what happened or not. So, I can only speculate. Did you want to heal under the hook? I heard that's good for the soul. So dark. She's not there. I think I need to turn my brightness up. It's already maxed out and I literally cannot see shit. That is insane. You were just literally sitting there, what the fuck? Well, that's what you get for being dumb. Um, let me move. Uh, one thing... If they're gonna fix the rest of the game... It should go without saying that they should also fix the... Man, she went flying from that one. They need to fix the jank bloody um collisions of the environment. This is actually great, so this means that we'll be able to use our uh, perk Floods of Rage, which is the perk where when you unhook someone from a scourge hook, all the other survivors are revealed for a little bit. Uh, which is great, because it just means that, you know, it makes getting unhooked even like more annoying, I would call it. Um, is there anything that isn't? So see, as we can see, we can kind of now make an educated guess of where they'll go. And now fucking terrify them. Like so. And that is the real fun of this killer, is being able to demanifest and manifest, fuck around and... Just get things done, really. She's going to make us miss somehow. Wow, she really is just throwing down pallets, huh? Um, so that Claudette, when we get to them, we'll be able to moor them, which is great for us. But yeah, Floods of Rage, a perk I literally would think would be a shit perk. Like, I've, like, Whenever my friends were like, oh, wait, uh, Floods of Rage seems like a pretty good perk, I would always be like, nah, it's pretty shit. But, like, ever since, like, a little bit ago, I was like, yeah, nah, it's actually, like, a legit perk, kinda. So we can just manifest, demanifest, remanifest, kinda wherever the hell we want.
just be spooky scary. Yeah, it's fucking right. I heard a locker opening sound. Wow, you saved him so good, Jeff. This is why I don't understand body blocking. Nah, it's fine. This is in this scenario, it wasn't that good. So we have two people moyable. I think Sadako might be one of the only characters where unironically I'm okay with the fact that they're very small. Because with Hag, I always have so much issue um, with how they work. We'll go to this one. Hope that it's the one near the gen. It isn't. Found you. But our goal is someone else. We'll break this. And then get rid of one of our contemporaries. One of, if not, the sickest moys in the game. Do you manifest? Let's project over here. Um, Merciless Storm is a perk I've not talked about like at all. Uh, it allows you to. Oh, be a shame if uh, someone was wallagagging over here. I'll let the Jeff do the gen, I kinda don't care, I just want my kills. Don't know why she didn't look around. We'll kill her here. So we're just going to kick this gen because we have Cold Brine, which is... Oh, most of the storm activated, so we actually can't use Cold Brine, that's annoying. However, there's two people who are now injured, and that gen is now blocked for like 20 seconds. I wonder if Salako would be annoyed about this map because of all the water. Well, we've lost them, but I, I could, that's pretty much fine. Oh my god, random amount of lag. I think it's just because like, a massive thing of wind happened. We'll come out here and see if anyone's working this gen. I want to look at this gen. Uh, like, yeah, like, it is kind of crazy how good Sadako can be uh, against teams. Like, I think, ooh, I, he I think I found you. This kid kind of just came out of nowhere. That was so weird. They're like literally just phased in as they went to do the thing. And that's like, a, like exactly as I said earlier in this episode. Always make sure that you're looking behind you when you do that. No, I'll go for the uh... So many blood... So many scratch marks. Because there's like... Damn, I didn't expect it to hit me. What the 
the hell? Oh, we went around here. I hate it when it leads slightly into a room, but like, it doesn't do anything. Ah! Don't know why you walked into the pallet, uh, the other way to the pallet instead of just going to the pallet instead. What I said basically made no sense, but it's fine. The good thing about this is, um... Oh, you just fucked yourself, boy. I don't know where they went. <laughs> yeah, for some reason that brick thing. The brick there is just really not wanting to be good. So we'll try to immediately rehook them. And then we'll maybe play. Whoops, I accidentally teleported. Or like, you know, just try to feign where uh, we know where they are. Oh, actually. That's bad for us because, um... There's nothing, there's no TVs over here that are working. So we'll de-manifest so then we don't have a kill, uh, tail radius. And then we'll vibe around the corner. Really? That is so annoying for them. And for me, because I wanted another Moy. I guess now we need to find Hatch. Grizzly murders that we've done. We may as well just demanifest while we do this. Just so then we can reappear in random places. In trying to find the uh, thingy. Ah, oh, they found it. Okay, that's our first game as the Unreal. So, let's get into the second game, shall we? We're in the second game. Didn't say hello that time. Don't know why. But we've brought an Ivory Mori, in my opinion one of the rarest Moris of the entire game, just because of how many green items, because the way that the blood web works in my knowledge of it, is um, it goes, okay we'll spawn this many greens, blue, green, yellows, you know, browns and everything, um, and then it chooses randomly, uh, perks are not counted. Um, but yeah, so it just chooses one at random, and then most of the time it's going to be like a map offering, because there's like 80 of those in the game. I swear I saw someone. Must be losing my mind. Let's try to see if we can scare someone. No, there's no... There was someone here, but then it didn't count as... What? Oh no, it did. Oh, they didn't get any, they didn't get the, any of the Kadem, so it doesn't matter. I keep thinking those are people, but it's might be people, there might be dead people, but like definitely not what I'm thinking they are. Gotcha. So let's talk about the perks one more time. Uh Scourge Hook with Scourge Hook. The way that it works is um when you hook someone on a scourge hook, which there were none around, funnily enough. Um it makes it so when they're unhooked you can see all the auras. Merciless Storm, when a gen is at 90%. Uh, you'll be able to... Oh, this map is terrible because there's none that goes to the boat. But, um... Like, directly into the boat, rather, I should say. But, um... Yeah, so when it's at 90%, what will happen is uh, they'll get constant skill checks. Or... Well, 
teleport back over here. I wonder how fucking scared she feels right now. This Jane Romero, like I just teleported basically on her. She didn't know what the hell was going on. And yeah, we are tunneling. Um, I do have a Moi, as I said, an Ivory one, and cool, she DC'd, means we don't need to worry about her anymore. I missed. I love how creative they got with the weapon. I will say, stop being annoying. Can they just make everything more polished? Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Did they seriously try to dumb tech me without actually having a flashlight to do it with? I commend your bravery, but I also have to commend your stupidity of thinking that would work. I really don't care. And that's why. <laughs> Doesn't matter to me what happens. Like, I'm gonna. Oh, that probably looks freaking terrifying on their end. Sadako is one of my absolute favorite killers in the entire game, just due to how scary uh, they make the game feel. Because just the fact that you can just teleport out and just go do something random, like, I'm gonna teleport here, and then I'm just here. And, like, everything about them, like, all the animations are super creepy and shit. Like, Behavior really, like, this is, like, probably one of my favorite killers that they've released in ages. The only thing about them that sucks is that Condemned is literally a do-nothing ability. I guess I'll de-manifest. Yeah, and because nothing was actually there, we'll re-manifest over here. Oh, seriously, I really just thought I saw someone run in there. Must be going insane, unless... They're trying to bamboozle me. No, I think they're actually just doing gens and I'm being an idiot. That's the other great thing about this killer. You can just be an idiot. Ah, so see? Someone was working in this gen and then a uh, merciless storm blocked it. We'll go up here. But yeah, we really want to just get this Moi. Uh, Damn. The only mistake was being dumb. I did s see that there was someone around. But I can't see them now. So let's get the Moi done. There you go. Moi, get. Dun dun dun. Yeah, we knew that that gen was going to pop. The question is, is how are they going to get out of this scenario? I think they'd go drop down. Yeah. Oh, there's two gens in this game. I thought there was only one. I don't really pay attention to anything. <laughs> if it doesn't say game winning information, I don't really pay attention. And that's the reason why I play Survivor so bad. Because of how small she is, it actually kind of makes it harder for people to know where she is. We haven't really been making much use of the skirt tricks, but we haven't been needing to. I hate that this tree's in the way. Someone has been working on this gen. That's fine. Hey, how does it feel? You ran straight into me. How does it feel? 
Is it terror inducing? I wish I brought an ebony moist so I could kill everyone here. But I was like, no, I only want one Mori today. Oh, she's accepting her fate. That's sad. I really, really wish that this Scourge hook. The only thing about it was like, oh, they have to unhook. But like, everyone unhooks anyway, so it's like not actually that big of a deal. We'll break this because we can. And then we'll just de-manifest and then go over there. So then they don't know that we're there, maybe. We'll, like, hide here. So it's not obvious that we're here at all. Moving book to the side so I can kneel so that my leg can hopefully get better. Jump scare. Nice try. I'm like literally leaning into my computer right now, so it's like impossible for anyone to like, n uh, for me not to be able to see someone. But they did do a good job, that was actually a cool attempt to hide. Jump over here. Usually, things spawn next to uh, objects, I feel. Kind of crazy that uh, I haven't been getting. Like, usually, I'm really lucky with hatch, so I guess, like, this is my. Uh, Unlucky so that I can get more lucky later things. But yeah, I think Sadako is the only one of the small statured killers that I don't actually mind playing as because I hate playing as Hag. One, because of their playstyle, and two, because they're just too small. Like on corn maps, it's impossible to find out where you are. Hope you weren't just lollygagging around trying to teabag me. So what you want to do with an endgame scenario like this is you want to find a place where you can kind of like... Oh, uh, freaking hell, the fires made it look like she was there. But yeah, you'll be able to see the, uh, the lights light up. Whichever one they choose to go to. So you just want to find a place where you can kind of just look at both sides. I think they're going to go for this one. It's hard, like, you got to be on your toes. Don't hear any key jingling, so I don't think. Shit. Oh, yeah, they're gonna get out now. That's so unfortunate. They're gonna get out. The only way they don't get out is if we interrupt them. Yes! We gotcha! Mwahahahaha. <laughs> yeah, we're really lucky that we were able to interrupt them just then. Because otherwise we would not have been able to get them. You could have see. You can also see how like confident that they were that they were going to get that because they immediately moved in. But nope, we got you. We got you, boys. It's Ghost Hunters. Look at the charm. It's Ghost Hunters, and you've been had. I love this charm though. Yeah. So that was that. So. 
let's go. Uh, there, there is no investment tier list for this uh, episode. Uh, Sadako would have ranked uh, somewhere in B tier. However, in tomorrow's episode, I'll be going over every single killer and all of the perks that they give you, and just be like this, like how good they are. I'll give them all a uh, star-based rate, uh, rate uh, ranking in the thing, so like zero to three stars, uh, and it's all of their perks together, uh, from zero to five stars each. And yeah, so that video is 50 minutes long, by the way. But yeah, so these are the people we're playing against, and I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Two pings. Adept on Rio. Nice. Uh, say hi to YouTube, Smaz. Hello, YouTube. I am readable and submissive, probably. Fuck you. <laughs>